there may be something else around here besides me. Either some kind of predator, because they're really calling. When they start calling like that, that's when I think, okay, there's a fox or a coyote or something nearby. They have different calls for different predators and intruders into their environment. They have different calls for even their own kin as well. And, and they have different vocalizations that they make for their young as well as, as for the other adult marmots. They're calling to all of their other buddies, their conspecifics, and saying that, you know, we have an intruder in our environment among our myths. And they have different calls for different predators. For example, I've been out in the field and heard a call that I knew was not a mammalian predator, it was an avian predator. So I immediately looked up and yes, there's a golden eagle that would be flying around. And that's what they were chirping about. If a dog or a coyote walks through, they have a chirp and a whistle for that species. They have a chirp for most humans. And I always love to say they have a chirp for me because they know that I'm in the marmot trapper. So they, they, they seem to recognize me uh, everywhere I go. They say, oh, that's the guy. That's the one we heard about. As you get further away, the dialects will probably change. And uh, the, you'll still have the basic you know, whistles, but the whistles may have slightly different interpretations in different valleys. Some folks have, been, have studied marmot whistles uh, particularly in Europe, they've studied the different valleys where you get really distinct valleys. And the marmots do have different whistles in the European marmot.